Hello guys, good evening. Hello Samu, good evening Berito, hello Elida, good evening Kevin, welcome to your class. Good evening teacher. Good evening teacher. Good evening, good evening teacher. Hey, it is so nice to see you, let me see. Uh, hello, good evening Florcita, hello Alessandra is coming, okay, that's nice. So my dearest students, I'm so happy to having you again in class, so for today, I'm going to start the class by having a simple reading, obviously, in English, right? So if you see, I got a reading, and the name is Nazarene. Hey, este es un apellido, ¿ok? No es ninguna pronunciación en inglés en especial. It's just a last name, ¿ok? Y simplemente un apellido. Así que repita conmigo, Nazarene. 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 and the pot. Diga conmigo, pot. 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 What is pot for you? This is a pot. It's like a jarrón, okay? ¿Cómo se dice jarrón en inglés? Diga conmigo, pot. 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 All right. Pot. Excellent. Thank you so much. So, voy a iniciar con una pequeña lectura just to, just to evaluate pronunciation, okay? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose by myself and one student is gonna read the first Paragraph. So I need a volunteer, please. Or may I choose by myself? I need a volunteer. Y obviamente cualquier detalle de pronunciación incorrecta, yo en este caso lo voy a ir corrigiendo. Berito, please. Thank you so much. Go ahead. One day, Nasserit borrowed a pot from his neighbor, Ali. The next day, he brought him back Why? with with another la, little pot, little little pot inside does does not mean mine mine saying Ali yes it is saying Nasserit Nasserit while while your pot was staying 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 with with me it had a baby okay thank you so much now let's see one more time okay so one day nazarene borrowed a pot from his neighbor Ali, hey, what is neighbor in Spanish? Is vecino, okay? <laughs> so one day Nazari borrowed a pot from his neighbor Ali. The next day he brought it back with E. Okay, esta palabra brought it back. Diga conmigo, brought it back. Brought it back. Se lee de un solo, no es brought it back, o sea, brought it back. Es como devolver, es como regresar. Como, por ejemplo, aquí dice, le regresó, ¿ok? Le regresó. He brought it back with another little pot inside. Y él le dijo, ¿verdad? Hey, that's no mind, said Ali. Y ahí viene él y le dice, yes, it is, said Nazarene. Why your pot was staying with me? It had a baby, okay? So the second paragraph is this one. I'm going to read first, and then uh, if you want to read as a volunteer, let me know. Sometime, thank you, Kevin, excellent. Sometime later, Nazarene asked, ask Ali to lend him a pot again. Esta palabra, cuando se dice, por ejemplo, teacher otra vez, es again, no es again. La I en este caso desaparece. Entonces, ¿cómo se dice otra vez? Diga conmigo, again. 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 Muy bien. Ali agreed, hoping that he would once again receive two pots in return. Diga conmigo, ah. however, 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 sin embargo, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, however, Days passed and Nazarene had still not returned the pot. Finally, Ali lost patience. Diga conmigo, paciencia. Paciencia. Perder, perder la paciencia. Lost patience. Lost, lost patience. Lost, lost patience. Muy bien. And went to demand his property. 
No es property, es property. Property. I'm sorry, said Nazarene. I can't give you back your pot since it has died. Die? screamed Ali. How can a pup die? Well, said Nazarene. You believe me when I told you that your pot had a baby. Okay, Kevin, please go ahead. Sometimes later, Nazarene asked Ali to lend him a pot again. Ali agreed, hoping that the world once again received two puts in return. However, they passed, and Nazarene had still not returned the put. Finally, Ali lost patience and went to demand his property. Uh -huh. And sorry, said Nazarene, I can give you at your put. Since it has died, died? It's great, Ali. How can a put die? Well, sighed. Nazarene, you can't believe, believe me when I told you that your put had, had a baby. All right, thank you so much. So I think this is this is a very confused story, okay, but teacher, but in this case, the story is about a pot, right? So the pot in Spanish is jarrón. So look at question number one. I got, let me see, I got one. Two, three, four, five, and six questions, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna choose, no, as a volunteer. Who wants to help me to answer question number one? Who wants to help me to answer question number one? Who say me, teacher me? Yes, no worries. If you, if you make me say no worries, but who wants to help me with question one? Five, four, three, two. Really, my goodness. Hey, the question is, who was the owner? What is owner in Spanish? Diga conmigo, propietario o dueño. Propietario o dueño. Owner. Owner. Oh, no. So, oh, no. who, was, who was the owner of the pot? Nazarene, yes. Ali, or the baby? Who was the owner? Mm, Ali. Nazarene. Yes, Look at, look at the, look at the, okay, look at the text, look at the text. Question number one, who was the owner of the pop? Let's see question number two, porque no la vamos a responder todavía, solo quiero que me diga, okay, teacher, porque vamos a, a volver a leer la lectura. Question number two, how many times did Nazarene borrow the pop? The pot. So in this case, borrow is prestar. So, ¿Cuántas veces les, le prestó el, el jarrón a Nazarene? So, diga conmigo, once. Wow. Once. Once significa una vez. Once. Twice significa... Dos veces. Dos veces. Thank you, Neri. And three times. Tres, tres tiempos. Tres, tres veces. veces. Diga conmigo, tres veces. Tres veces. Entonces, tres veces. once twice and three times. Question number three. How many pots, o cuantos jarrones, how many pots did he give back the first time? The first time. No one, one, or two. Aquí estoy trabajando su, re, estoy trabajando, ojo, señores, estoy trabajando su retentiva, ¿ok? Quiero que, quiero que se concentre, ¿ok? Quiero que se concentre porque obviamente usted me dice, teacher, yo en enero me dijo quiero aprender inglés. Entonces quiero que se concentre y quiero que ponga a trabajar ese hamster, ¿ok? Vamos con wow. la cuatro. Vamos cuatro. <laughs> why, was, why was the neighbor happy to learn? Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Porque aquí dice lend. Len es prestar y también borrow es prestar, pero obviamente el verbo yo lo ocupo dependiendo del contexto. Why was the neighbor happy to lend his pot a second time? He was en pasado. Exactly. He was greedy. Diga conmigo, greedy. 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 Como greedy. en acuerdo, como en acuerdo, ¿verdad? He was good. He was a good neighbor o he had lost of a spare pot. And the last one, excuse me, number five. 
How many pops did Nazarene return? Cuando ya fue la segunda vez, ¿cuántos jarrones le devolvió? How many pops did the Nazarene return to the second time? No one? One or two? And question number six. What probably happened to the pot? Dice, pero es que ahí dice que el pot tuvo un bebé. O sea, no, esta es, un, este es una lectura un poco paralela. O sea, obviamente no es tan literal, ¿ok? No es algo tan, 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 tan literal en este caso. So, what probably happened to the pot? ¿Qué pasó al final? It died. The neighbor took it back. Letter C. Nazarene, keep it. O se lo quedó en este caso Nazarene. So, vamos a escuchar la lectura y quiero que de verdad ponga atención. Las preguntas están en orden, de acuerdo al orden también de los párrafos. El, si se fija, solamente son dos párrafos. Si usted me dice, teacher, no entiendo, es porque creería yo que casi no leemos en inglés y es muy importante que usted lea en inglés. Así es que vamos a ver acá, eh, escuchar el audio y trate de ir seleccionando número uno, A, B, C, number two, A, B, C, and consequently. Ok, please. Pay attention. Dura 60, un minuto. Nasreddin and the pot. One day, Nasreddin borrowed a pot from his neighbor, Ali. The next day, he brought it back with another little pot inside. That's not mine, said Ali. Yes, it is said Nasruddin. While your pot was staying with me, it had a baby. Some time later, Nasruddin asked Ali to lend him a pot again. Ali agreed, hoping that he would once again receive two pots in return. However, days passed and Nasruddin had still not returned the pot. Finally, Ali lost patience and went to demand his property. I am sorry, said Nasruddin. I can't give you back your pot since it has died. Died? screamed Ali. How can a pot die? Well, said Nasruddin, you believed me when I told you that your pot had had a baby. All right. So let's see. Everybody, okay? No worries if you make mistakes, okay? I'm going to choose, let me see, Annelise Juarez. Me ayudas a leer la pregunta número uno, please. Thank you. How was the owner of the pot? All right. So, students, A, B, or C? En mi, en mi caso, A, B. Letter, letter B. B. Letter letter B. B. Letter B. Tengo un mensaje ahorita, pero no lo puedo ver. Hay alguien me ha mandado un mensaje, después lo veo. Okay, letter B, okay? Excellent. Thank you so much. Question number two. Elida Zamora, can you please help me to read question number two? Thank you. How many times did Nasserine borrow the pot? How many times? Once, twice, or three times? Eight. Twice. One said once and another said twice. ¿Cuántas veces se lo prestó? Oh. Once, twice, or three? Una, dos, o tres veces. Wow. wow. Ok, Nelly and Berito said once. Once. One. Ok, Helen said once, ok. Ok, let me see, voy a ver, let me see. Samu, A, B, or C. Catherine, A, B, or C. One. Once, ok, let's see. Ah, uh ah, -uh, it's not once. But I think uh -uh. Kevin, Kevin, you said twice, right? Twice, yes. Yes, okay, twice. excellent. Twice, yes. Kevin Era has, twice. Yes, it is. <laughs> Kevin has the answer, okay, perfect. <laughs> Number three, how many pots did he be did he give back the first time? No one? One? Or two? Two. Two. Correct. Su cerebro le dijo dos. No tenga miedo de activar el micrófono y decirlo. Si su cerebro le dice dos, dígale yo a la teacher le voy a decir dos, aunque en realidad no estoy de acuerdo, no sé, no estoy seguro, segura. Su cerebro le está dando la respuesta. Dice, he gave back the original pot. O sea, le dio obviamente el que le había prestado. 
pero también por, por hacerle el favor de prestarle el jarrón, le dio otro más pequeño, ¿ok? Another is, is small thought. Number four, Nelly, can you please help me to read the equation, please? Why was the neighbor happy to lend his pot a second time? He was greedy, he was a good neighbor, or he had lost of spare pots. Mm -hmm. Why was the neighbor happy to lend his pot? ¿Por qué se puso feliz de prestárselo una segunda vez? A, B, or C. Mm -hmm. Ask to your brain. Yes, ask to your brain. Okay. Look at the okay, look at the text. Look at the text. Look at the text. Okay, now you got it, yes or no? Now you got it, yes or no? Why was the neighbor happy to lend his pot a second time? He was greedy, he was a good neighbor. Oh, he had lots of spare pot. Mm, a lot of uh, option A. Okay, Kevin said option letter A. And in this case, look at yes. He thought Nazarene will he will him him to post back to the second time too. Oh, teacher, I think this is a kind of difficult reading. Hey guys, <clears throat> it's not a difficult text. No es, un te no es un texto difícil. The problem is you don't have the culture to read. If you want to learn new vocabulary every day, you have to read in English. Okay, this is an advice. Ese es un consejo. Vamos con las últimas dos. How many pots did Nazarene return? Esa está fácil. Return the second time. No one, one or two. Mm. Okay, Nelly said, letter? Sí. Letter? Sí. Letter C. Letter C, letter C. Sure? How many? Mm -hmm. Look at, look at, return the second time. The second time, not the first time. That's why I said, that's what I said, wow. look at. I'm sorry, said I can give you back your pot seed. It has died. Die? Mm. So, how many? How many pots the second time? No one or one? One. In this case, no one. He said, I'm so sorry because the pot is not in a good one. It's not in a good way, okay? No worries, just number five. And number six, ¿qué pasó con el jarrón? What probably happened to the pot? I died. It's and literal A. He died? Mm. Uh, the neighborhood took it back. Mm -mm. In this case, diga conmigo, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. So he lied because he keep it the pot. Es como que, como que digamos, hey teacher, ¿y qué onda ahí? ¿Qué pasó entonces? Como que se lo quedó, le mintió. Le voy a mandar ahí el link. Si me hace el favor ahí alguien de mandarlo al chat de Zoom. Para que usted en este caso, el link que le acabo de mandar va a poder encontrar muchas lecturas, muchas lecturas en inglés, donde están lecturas desde un nivel intermedio, que es el que estamos leyendo nosotros, eh, nivel bajo intermedio, perdón, pero también hay lecturas que son muy, mucho más básicas, pero le voy a recomendar algo, le voy a dejar una tarea eh, opcional, métase al link y trate de leer una lectura todos los días. Eso le va a ayudar en este caso a usted un montón. Aunque aquí no practicamos pronunciación, pero sí en este caso lo que usted sí va a aprender todos los días es vocabulario, ¿ok? So, yes, Berito, you have a question? Mm, ah, ok. I will try to send it later, ¿ok? I will try to send it later. Thank you so much. And thanks, 
And, ok, thank you so much, Berito. Thanks for letting me know. Ok, se lo voy a tratar de enviar más tarde. Ok, so, for this class, for the second part, I got four, I got three equations, four, five, and six. Look at question number four, and I'm going to ask you by your personal, um, by your personal opinion, but in this case, before to start, let me see, I'm going to choose Kevin Alvarez, podemos activar el micrófono, please. Okay. Kevin, my question is very simple. Do you like Christmas? Mm, yes. What do you do on Christmas? For example, um, I will give you my example first. And then please be ready, Neri. My example, Kevin, is, yes, I do. I like Christmas. It's one of my favorite celebrations in El Salvador. In my case, Kevin, um, we have the culture and we have the tradition to go to the church. And we have the tradition to have a special dinner, for example, turkey. What about you, Kevin? Um, for me, in tradition is tamal. Oh, chicken tamales or meat tamales? Uh, meat tamales. Okay, you don't like turkey? Yes. Um, so, so. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what about, for example, do you like fireworks? ¿Te usan los cohetes? Do you like fireworks? Uh, in my case, yes. no. In my case, not too much. Yes. Um, ¿Cómo puedo hacer como referencia para decir de que sí? Como que estoy de acuerdo, pero por una parte no. Yes, teacher, I like it, but not very much because are very dangerous, yes. are very noisy. So, again, te hago la pregunta nuevamente en lo que se prepara okay. Nelly. Do you like fireworks? Uh, yes, I like it, uh, but uh, it's very dangerous. Dangerous. Hey, do you have dogs, Kevin? What? Do you have dogs? The animal yeah. dogs? No. Well, I, I'm, te pregunto porque people said dogs don't like fireworks because are very noisy, yes. right? Yes. Yes, in my case, I have a dog, and that's why, esa es la razón, that's the reason I don't like fireworks because my dog hates it. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Nos preparamos igual con la pregunta cuatro. Neri. Do you like Christmas, Neri? Yes, and then, I please, like Christmas. Let me see. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose. Senia Duran. Hello, Senia. Hey, coach. Okay, be ready, okay? You are the, the, you are the second one. Neri, do you like Christmas? Yes, I like Christmas. But do you prefer American Christmas or El Salvador's Christmas? 50 50 50 50 nice in okay the, in the salvador is is beautiful uh, because uh music dancing um, and it se me olvida como se dice pólvora fireworks and fireworks in the in the night neri in, excuse me what is the tradition in united states in the united states is in, in the night is the dinner uh-huh. Um, no working. dancing? Yes, no dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I drinking. Okay. For I example, drink, water? Tequila. <laughs> tequila. <laughs> tequila. Ah, okay. Um, Do you cook on Christmas? Yes, I cook. I cook turkey. Um, mm -hmm. ham. Uh -huh. Um, salad. Uh, hey, um, do you believe, for example, people said they like to they like to eat grapes, the fruit, and for yes. example, one grape represent a wish. Supposedly, represent a un, un, un deseo, creo, verdad? So, do yes. you have the do you have that tradition to have a grape every? No, uh, no, 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 no tradition. No, what no, is your, no. What is your tradition? What your personal <laughs> tradition? 
Um, a personal tradition in United States is a... No, your, according to you. And well, uh -huh. in, well, my tradition is, ¿cómo se dice hacer una oración? Pray. 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 P -R -A, Pray. Se los mando al chat de Zoom. Okay. Rezar o u orar, permítame aquí. Mm. Okay. Ahí está, pray. Ok. Yes, I pray in the... In the med, in medianoche, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, midnight, at midnight. In midnight, in pray at midnight. Mm -hmm. in, in the USA, I like... Uh, it's a... Uh, we a uh, gift present. Ah, ok, that's nice. All yes. right. Thank you, Neri. Igual, nos preparamos con la pregunta cuatro. O sea, solamente es un pequeño, una pequeña introducción. Senia, y si alguien quiere contestarla, porfa, me activa su manita, ¿ok? Senia Durán, do you like Christmas? Yes, I like. Ok, why? Because my family is very big. So, uh -huh. uh, they, they give a lot of presents to me. Oh, <laughs> ok, that's the most important. So, What is your tradition on Christmas? What do you do? My, okay, my favorite tradition is visit my grandparents because they they live very away. Okay, far away. Okay. Far away. Yes. What about what about the food? Do you have uh, Do you like to have a special a special dinner? No, in my case, uh, I prefer pizza or or spaghetti. Oh, really? Hey, that's new for me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm going to conclude with Berito. What about you, Berito? Samu, would you like to participate because your microphone is on? Uh, yeah, teacher. Okay. Okay. Berito number one and Samuel number two. Okay, Berito, do you like Christmas? Yes, teacher. Share, share, share dinner with, with my mom. And my friend. Uh -huh. and I don't like firebox. Yes, me too. I don't and like it too. The um, animals, animal, my dog, my dog, nervous, nervous. Yes, my and, dog always get nervous too. And, and also for the money. Mm -hmm. For the money, uh, fireable. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Berito. Let me see Samuel and Helen, the, then please. Okay, Samuel, tell me about Christmas. Tell me about your Christmas, please. Well, the tradition in the house is a um, um, trial fireworks. Okay. And uh, se me olvida cómo, cómo se pronuncia horneado. Bake. Bake. Mm -hmm. Bake a, a chicken or turkey. But okay. I really love it. Uh, bread with chicken. Lo really? Hey, I don't know. Yeah, Samu, I don't know why, but in my case, I don't like chicken with bread. I prefer just the chicken and have a portion of rice with salad. But I don't like to have it inside of the bread. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, continue. No, I, I, I really love bread with, with chicken. And, okay, in the sausage, right? Uh, uh, yeah. And maybe drinks. <laughs> what kind of drinks do you like to have? Oh, so... Cuba Libre. Okay, nice. Okay, I never have tried it, okay? But sounds good. Is it, it is good? Uh, yeah, you like a uh, alcoholizado. How much? How much alcohol? How much? Alcohol. How much? much? Alcohol. How much, yeah. how much is the percent? Yeah, um, oh. maybe it's so it's so in terms of Seven? alcohol, you 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 use. Oh, okay. Well, seven. Will you make a vodka or rum? Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, you don't drive, right? Your car. <laughs> no, no, never, never. I have, I, I really have a scary, the yes, idea exactly. I drive 
I drive drunk now. No, yes, no. of course. Yes, totally. Totally agree with you. Okay, that's nice. Thank you, Samuel. Muy bien. Helen, okay. what about you, please? Okay, inicio, inicio con la pregunta cuatro. Los que van a activar su manita para darme las respuestas completas. So, Helen, question number four. What do you do on Christmas? Uh, I, like, I like Christmas. Um, tra, uh, la tradición uh, sería... The tradition. The tradition in my family is... Um, Cook delicious bread with chicken. Wow, I, lo I love it. Uh -huh. I prefer ribs than hen or chicken or turkey. Mm, chicken. Mm -hmm. No, in my case, if you if you ask teacher, what do you prefer, ribs, chicken, hen, or turkey? I prefer ribs. Okay, continue. And um, I visit my my dad and mm -hmm. sister porque viven separado. Then visit on my mother. Okay. What um, about what about fireworks? Do you um, like to play fireworks or no? Um, like a morteros, no, little I, stars. I, I, my daughter is see my my hijos. Sí. <laughs> ah, you okay? Your kids, okay? Hey, do you have kids? Yes, two. Oh, that's nice. Tell me about your kids. Hablame de tus niños. Tell me about your kids. How old are they? Ma, the boys, girls? Uh, and, bo and boys and girls. And boys is... Um, so, Diego, one boy you, and one girl? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, Diego and Sofia. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, she... A ellos les gusta. <laughs> she like, they, excuse me. They like. They like is uh, like play fire fireworks. Fireworks, okay. Uh, hey, hey, uh, how, how old are they? For example, Diego is five years old, eight years old, ten years old. Uh, Die Diego is. Diego Hall is, is, tiene, is Diego is tiene, Diego is el mayor yes but it's 10 11 12 um 11 11 okay oh what no. about the girl and Sophie is and Sophia is six Six oh, years. it's a baby. My goodness. And she Six. plays with fireworks. Wow. And she yes. plays. Sofia uh, is a baby. Star, like se, serían estrellitas. Little stars. Star. Diga conmigo. Little stars. Sí. Yes. Re yes, <laughs> Helen, pero repet repitamos. Little stars. ¿Me escuchan? Ah, ¿Me escuchan, chicos? Sí, ¿verdad? Ah, me lo puede decir, es que ah, okay. se, eh, por el internet se me... Ah, ok, no te preocupes. Estrellitas, o sea, las estrellitas de... de, de... Es que creo que es el mío. Ok. Sí, repite conmigo. Little stars. Little star. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. Ok, thank you, Helen. Let me see. I'm going to choose just one more. Let me see. I'm going to choose... Florcita. Good evening, Florcita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. And I'm going to conclude this question with Annelise Juarez. Florcita, what do you do on Christmas? Um, at Christmas, we get together with my family and uh -huh. we eat a lot. We like turkey and watch movies. Okay. What about fireworks? Do you like fireworks? No, I don't like. Why? Uh, is very ruidoso, teacher. Noisy. Uh, noisy. It's very noisy. Okay. All right. Easy peasy. Thank you so much, Florcita. Annelise. Okay. What about you, Annelise? Hi. Good evening. Welcome again. Good evening. <laughs> Christmas. Sorry? What do you uh, do on Christmas? Um... What do you do with with your sister on Christmas? 
Como es esto? ¿Qué hacemos en la Navidad? Yeah, yes, please, don't speak Spanish. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, visit um, my family and dinner is in our verdad. Yes, don't speak Spanish. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, dinner and fire. ¿Cómo se dice? Fire. Reventar, reventar cuetes. Ajá. Di conmigo. Play. Play. Fireworks. Fireworks. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much, Annelies. La palabra play se puede ocupar, obviamente, cuando yo digo I play soccer, I play tennis, I play rugby, etc. La palabra play también se puede utilizar cuando usted tiene la habilidad de eh, tocar instrumentos. I play the piano, I play instruments, I play the trumpet, etc. Pero la palabra play también se puede traducir como reventar a los salvadoreños. ¿Me doy a entender? Como reventar cohetes. Entonces, si yo quiero decir, a mí no me gusta reventar cohetes, ¿cómo lo diríamos? Five, four, three, two. I don't like play fireball. Exacto. I don't like to play fireworks. Por, ¿Cómo digo? Porque son muy ruidosos. ¿Cómo es la palabra ruidoso? They no, are very... No. Diga conmigo, noisy. 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 La, diferencia, noisy. la diferencia entre noise... Y noisy es que noise es como cuando decís, I heard a noise. Ey, escuché un ruido. I heard, I heard, yo escuché, I heard a noise. Escuché un ruido en la cocina. I heard a noise in the kitchen. Pero cuando yo hablo de que la música, o como en este caso, los fireworks son muy ruidosos, se dice noisy. Entonces yo quiero decir, teacher, no me gustan los cohetes porque son muy ruidosos. ¿Cómo diríamos? I don't like. Firework because. Ajá. Because. Because noisy. No sé because cómo. they are, porque son, they are very noisy. They are very noisy. Exactly. Noisy, ruidoso. Entonces, es la diferencia entre noise y noisy. Ok, muy bien. Question number five. What do you do in your beer day? Vaya activando sus manitas. Voy a leer las opciones en este caso. ¿Qué haces en tu cumpleaños? What do you do in your birthday? Primero que nada, quiero que me diga cuándo es su cumpleaños. En inglés, primero se dice el mes. Por ejemplo, si yo cumplo en febrero 20, sería My birthday is on February 20. Si yo cumplo el 2 de abril, My birthday is on April 2. Siempre va el mes primero. Ahora, antes de comenzar, ¿quién me puede decir los meses en inglés? January. February. Okay, everybody, no, no, no. Vamos, démosle todos. Everybody go to the disco, vamos. January. 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 February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 Uh -huh. July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. October. November. December. 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 Perfect. Thank you. I like it because some students say uh, August. August. No. August. Perfect. And you did it so August. good. August. Perfect. So, August. remember, for example, teacher, my birthday is on September. Primero va el mes. September 1st. September 2nd. Yo creo que con Jonathan estuvieron viendo los números y no se dice September 1, no se dice September 2. En este caso siempre se, se ocupan como los números ordinales, primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, etc. Entonces, eso aplica solo para las fechas. Por ejemplo, mi cumpleaños es el 5 de octubre, digamos. My birthday is on October. No se dice 5, se dice 5th. Mi cumpleaños es el 3 de marzo. My birthday is on March. No se dice 3, se dice 3rd. Third, third, ¿ok? Entonces, what do you do in your birthday? My birthday is on March 8th. In my case, I like to celebrate with my friends. Having a barbecue. Number two, oh, teacher, I just relax and have a spa. In my case, teacher, I really like to go to the beach. 
Well, teacher, um, my case just blow my birthday candles and take some pictures with my friends. El verbo blow, diga conmigo, blow. 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 Es, en este caso, por ejemplo, soplar las velitas del pastel. Blow my birthday candles. Candelas, puede ser candelas de las normales o en este caso las velitas del de pastel. So, volunteer. What do you do in your birthday? Active su manita. Let me see. Elida and then Samuel and then, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Elida Zamora, go ahead. What do you do in your birthday? My, my birthday is on 31, 31. Oco, 31. August, primero se dice el mes. Diga conmigo, August. August. 31st. 31st. El 30 se pronuncia normal. ¿Cómo se dice 30 en inglés? 30. Pero como 30. es 31, no se dice 31, sino que para las fechas, como lo dije anteriormente, se trabajan los números ordinales. Entonces, el 31, 31st. 31st. Ok, continue, please. Um, eh, my mom eh, visit me. Uh -huh. uh, she cook for me. Uh, my sister give me cake. Uh, my brother uh, uh, visit me too. Uh -huh. um, and as as the afternoon in my work. Tomo el tomo la tarde. Uh -huh. I in, take I take the afternoon. I take the afternoon uh -huh. in my work. Okay. And, and my friends and my brothers uh, give me um, uh, regalos. Gift. Podemos decir gift, gift. or present. Uh, give me present. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Elida. Samuel, what do you do in your birthday? Be ready, Berito. So my birthday is August 25th and um, make a cook a pudding. Okay. It's only I, I'm doing. You don't like birthday cakes? Um, Not really. I prefer pudding. In my case, I prefer donuts. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like birthday cakes. Too much sugar for me. I prefer donuts, but just one donut or a, or a half. No, okay, but too much sugar for me. All right. Finished? Yeah. All right. Veronica, and then let me see. I'm going to choose Andrea. Good evening, Andrea. Are you ready to participate about question five? Let me see, let me, wait, wait a minute, Perito. Andrea Gavinia, yes, five, four, three, two, maybe she's busy. Okay, I'm gonna, Neri, and then let me see, be ready, Florcita. Okay, Perito, go ahead. Uh, my birthday is September 5th. And in my case, I like to celebrate uh, Dinner with my um, in my home with my mom, also my friends. Your pets. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Neri and then Florcita, are you ready to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, Andrea, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Neri and then Flor. Teacher, how do you say? Uh, 26 en fecha de mi cumpleaños lo mismo 20 solo que la pronunciación del 6 es como 26 6 th oh, okay. al final 20 no se dice 6 sino mm -hmm. que se dice, sería th 26 26 oh, okay. ya yeah. okay my birthday is uh, my 26 mm -hmm. i celebrate and i go to the restaurant in the night with my family. I like apple apple pie. Mm -hmm. 
um, I thank you for my birthday. Uh huh. Um, that's it. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Let me see, Florcita, and then if I got volunteer, let me know. O paso a la pregunta seis y finalizo en esa parte. Uh, Florcita, please. What do you do? Hey, my birthday is on April 5th. In my case, April, um, April, April 5th. April 5th. Mm -hmm. In my case, I eat cheesecake with my family and friends. All right, finished? Yes? Okay. Yes, it's finished. Thank you, Florcita. Helen, please, go ahead. Um, okay, it's my birthday is on September 9th. And my family cook dinner is special for me. Mm -hmm. My husband prepared a gift for me. Mm -hmm. And I like three, three milk, milk. All right, perfect. So in this case, you can see, una comida especial, primero va el adjetivo. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, my family prepares a food special. No, primero va el adjetivo. My family prepares a special dinner. A special dinner, okay. a special breakfast, o un platillo especial, a special dish. Pero el adjetivo va primero, a special dish. Okay, thank you, Helen. Thank you so much. Okay, no one, fine, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's, let's see, oops, excuse me. Let's continue, and I'm going to conclude this part with question number six. How many hours do you study? English. I forgot it to put it English, but in the question is, how many hours do you study English? So in this case, I'm gonna ask to give us some seconds. I'm gonna ask to let me see. Mm. Pame, can you please help me to read the examples, please? Let me see. Pame, five, four, three, two. Yes, but I, I think Pamela has some issues problem with the internet, maybe. Okay, let me see. Aprovechando. Sambo, can you please help me to read the four examples, please? Question, excuse me, example one, two, three, and four. Go oh. ahead. I like to study around two hours per day. <clears throat> two, in my case, I don't study. I just watch the classes. Three, morning for me are better because I feel full of energy. Four. It depends, for example, if I have to work, I study just when I take my lunch. All right. So the question, thank you, Samuel. The question is very simple. How many hours do you study, guys? Let me see. I'm going to start with Berito. How many hours do you study English? In my case, teacher, I study English. For example, English to practice through all um, um listen listen to music and watching videos subtitles okay. in English. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Let me see. I'm gonna ask you Annelise, how many hours do you study English? Hi, um sorry? How many hours do you study English? Um, one hour. <laughs> one hour, yes, but one hour per day, one hour in the morning, one in the afternoon. Give it more detail. The afternoon, because the morning and um, study in the in the school. Ah, okay, perfect. All right, thank you so much. Let me ask you, Kevin. What about you? Question six. Oops, Kevin, thank you. Mr. Alvarez, five, four, three, two. Hello. Okay, question <laughs> six, no worries. How many hours do you study English, Kevin? In my case, I study English around uh, one hour and two hours. 
Yes, but in the morning, in the afternoon, um, on Saturdays. In the morning. Uh huh. Um, that's it. Okay, perfect. Volunteer, please. I need one volunteer. How many hours do you study English? Neri, go ahead. Finalizo con contigo. Go ahead. I like to study around one hour in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, it is depends, for example, if uh -huh. I if I have homework, uh -huh. I started in the evening. Perfect. Finish. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. No one volunteer, no one five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so my dearest students, I'm gonna conclude the class by listening your stories. If you remember, you got a homework, okay? I hope, espero, I hope you're ready. So the dynamic is very simple. For example, Veronica is gonna read her story and I'm gonna choose one student who is gonna translate or who is gonna interpret Veronica's story. It is clear, my dears, Verito, Annelise, Eli, the floor, Helen, Kevin, Neri, Pam, no. it is clear? It is clear. All right. So who wants to be the first one? Who wants to be number one? Or me, Neri, excellent. Thank you. Neri, elija una persona menos Andrea, porque creo que no le funciona el micrófono. Bueno, me, sí, no, no es que no le funcione, me mandó un mensajito que no le funciona. Elija una persona de la lista, porfa. Wow, no, no, no he visto la lista, pero la primera de la lista, no he visto la lista. No la voy a ver. Ah, Berito es la primera. Oh, lo siento. Ok, Berito, <risa> escuchemos la historia de Neri y después tú en español me vas a decir de qué trataba la historia, ¿te parece? Teacher, ok, ok. Perfecto. Okay. Neri. Voy a ir, de, voy a ir oh. de slow. No, no, ah, no, please. Normal. Normal, ok. Okay, yes, perfect. okay. okay go ahead, please. Okay. Please attention, Berito. <laughs> Chill. Uh, the, 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 ¿Cómo se dice el tema? The topic. The topic. Is, the topic is children. Once upon a time, there were two brothers. The names were Joseph John and John Joseph. They were very happy with their mom and dad. They all always up early in the morning and they, la and they live to eat cheese, bread and bananas for breakfast. Mm -hmm. While their mom reads them a beautiful story. They always listen it while imagining this the history. They had two favorite histories: the ugly duckling and the and the toad. Mm -hmm. They love and listen to stories in English and Spanish. Finish. Easy peasy, Berito. Do you got it? Entendiste? Do you got it? So, so, teacher. Okay, demo. De, de los niños, de dos niños eh, que les gusta eh, bananas en el desayuno. Ajá. Eh, escuchar historias. Eh, no sé, entendí que antes de dormir o en la tarde. Y que el nombre de los niños si no lo no 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 lo capté pero son okay. dos dos varoncitos okay. Neri yes yes okay yes but okay that's like that's a good pronunciation it is, and I understood every single word thank you so much Berito are you ready with your homework yes teacher okay choose one student Annelise, Elida Flor, Helen, Kevin, Samu, choose one, please. Uh, Annelise. Okay, Annelise, are you ready to listen Veronica's story? 
Yes. All right. Remember, you are going to try to understand and then you are going to explain it in Spanish, right? Okay, Berito, go ahead. It was nearly Christmas. Katie wake, wake up and uh, found that the world was white and magical. It's no she shouldn't. It's no for Christmas. She ran outside and danced. In the snow, her brother had come out to. They made a big round a snowball and a snow one. Mm, that's in picture. Okay, easy peasy, thank you. Annelise, you got it? Hello, uh, entendí muy poquito. Lo, lo que entendiste, démosle. Eh, entendí que era de, cri de Navidad. Uh -huh. Y si no me equivoco, al protagonista o a la protagonista le gusta bailar. Uh -huh. Y tiene un hermano, eso es lo. Perdón, eso es lo que. Verito, okay. bien. Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, excelente. Okay, Annelise, are you ready with your story? Uh, yeah. Okay, choose one student, please. Flor, Elida, Helen, Kevin, Samu. Kevin. Okay, Kevin, are you ready to interpret? Okay. Okay, thank you. Please, Annelise, go. Uh, Mi historia es muy pequeñita, ¿ok? No worries, go ahead. I have a cat. It is black with yellow eyes. It is angry, but sometimes it's loving. Likes sleep and eats mm -hmm. chicken. Sometimes play. I love, I love very much my cat. Finish. Ok. Easy peasy. Kevin? Yes? Yes. Ok, go ahead, en Spanish, please. Eh, ella dice que tiene un gato que es color negro eh, y amarillo, si no me equivoco, eh, que le gusta el pollo y que lo ama mucho. Ok, ¿es correcto, Annelies? ¿Es correcto? Sí. All yes, right, thank you so much. Los ojos son amarillos. <laughs> ok, that's nice, thank you. Let me see, Kevin, are you ready with your story? Okay. Uh, let me see. Choose one student. Elida, Flor, Helen, or Samu. Uh, Elida. Okay, Elida, are you ready to translate and interpret? Yeah. Okay, nice. Kevin, go ahead. Okay. Pepe and Paco, the best friends. Once upon a time, there was a rabbit named Pepe. Pepe was a happy rabbit. He will soon be three years old and he will celebrate then be a uh, wood. But a part of him was sad because he had no friends to share his happiness with, missing one with for his birthday. He met an aunt named Paco. Pepe was happy to have found Paco. He already had a friend to celebrate with the days past Paco and Pepe become in the best friend the date of Pepe birthday arrived and Paco had surprise for Pepe uh, Pepe asked Paco what is the surprise that you had for me Paco had in, invited all his friends to sing to Pepe Pepe was super happy to have me Paco and that was how Pepe had the best birthday moral. It's a matter of connection, not time. All right, That's excellent, it. perfect. Thank you so much, Elida. You got it. Ah, uh, entendí que es uh -huh. como un cuento de un conejito que se llamaba Pepe. Uh -huh. eh, estaba de cumpleaños. Este mencionaba que una parte de que 
como que no se lo estaban celebrando, pero al final su amigo este, le dio una sorpresa uh -huh. y él se sintió muy feliz este, porque al final le festejaron su cumpleaños, algo así entendí. <risa> Kevin, ¿sí? Yes. yes. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Ok, señores, voy a finalizar. Sa, me queda pendiente, me queda pendiente, si no me equivoco, Flor. Me queda pendiente Samuel, porque ya tengo que ir, tengo que entrar ahorita con el otro grupo. Entonces, las personas que me quedaron pendiente, envíenme por favor la historia, el audio. El audio me lo envían a mi chat, eh, a mi WhatsApp privado para yo podérselos evaluar, ¿les parece? Ok. ¿Ya? Excelente, okay, señores. Y el grupo que va entrando ahorita, voy a cerrar sesión para iniciar la sesión nueva, señores. Fue un placer. Nos vemos el próximo jueves. Good night, people. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.